Evening BC, Dave here. Back to show some recent pickups. Um, got a pretty good stack here. There's a bunch out there in the mail world circulating around. Maybe they'll get to me. Uh, things are pretty dicey with the Postal Service. Um, I feel bad for David uh, Sequoia Flame down in uh, Florida. Surfling again, man. I wonder if freaking the orange goblins in town again. Who knows? Maybe you know he wants to do his rallies again. Oof. This episode brought to you by Tony Stewart Cousy. Oh, I mean, a lot of left turns in this video. Seven inch Faith and more. I'm easy on the A side aggressive on the B side promo copy uh, UK OG um, slash records promo kind of a weird promo 7 inch these helicopters I when I'm making a video looking for gangsters you can definitely find them on my street 10-inch, Mad Season, River of Deceit, one of my favorite, favorite songs off that album. And uh, when I first came down to Charlotte for the first time back in 1995, this CD was in the car. It was the only CD in the car, the whole trip down and the whole trip back. Phenomenal album. Don't see this every day. It's uh, I don't know anything live on the B side. This is limited to 2,000 copies, yeah. So these were from Lunchbox. He had gotten in a crazy 90s collection. And I got the first look at it because it was like the day everything went down with the stay at home order, um, or the day before. And then I got this 12 inch Allison Chains Angry Chair, which I have the import CD of, but never see this on wax. So this has got uh, I Know Something About You, and then on the B-side, Bleed the Freak Live, and it ain't like that live. That's a skiller. Got the cool picture of the burning chair on the label. Oh, let's see. So, pick this up from Record Wonderland. Um, trying to support as many stores as I can, of course. Our own Chris Cole works there. Got uh, Muhal Richard Abrams, Young at Heart, Wise in Time on Delmark. Beautiful album. Plays piano on this. Uh, at times it has a McCoy Tyner feel, but this is this is all Richard Abrams. He is phenomenal. Uh, man, this one this one blew me away. Um, I missed picking it up. Rochester at Bob Shop. I was it was in the bin and I was gonna go back and grab it. It was only like 20 bucks and I completely forgot. So found this Record Wonderland up in the Chicagoland area. Uh, keeping on the art ensemble of Chicago theme. Uh, picked this up from Dusty Groove. Uh, Joseph Jarman Sunbound Volume One. This is a live performance solo where Joseph Jarman's playing all the instruments. This is fantastic. Um, on the B side, track one is Spirit of Eric. So the Spirit of Eric Dolphy, and he does have some of Eric's tone. And then the last track, Spirit of Train. Phenomenal. Uh, this is, it's got a lot of different type of uh, things going on here. He plays a bunch of instruments, including gongs, bell, vibraphone, cymbals, um, of course, alto, uh, bass, clarinet, flute, and sapardino, which was the first of its kind. Um, this is not an easy one to find, so I was happy to grab this from Dusty Groove. Uh, the next, also from Dusty Groove, was Art Blake and the Jazz Messengers, Buhania, or, uh, Buhana, um, I don't know how you say that, 
but uh, a couple of vocal tracks on here, uh, John Hendricks, um, not my favorite, but man, once they get cooking, Woody Shaw on the trumpet here with Carter Jefferson on tenor, yeah, middle of this album is fantastic. Um, later, Art Blakey here, 73. Uh, the next records were a fantastic VCLT package from Sherv. Much love, man. These are these are fantastic. These are really great records. Wow. And the first is uh, Nat Birchall, uh, a Kenneton. Uh, this is on the Jazzman Records label out of the UK, I believe. This is just all kinds of gorgeous, uh, really chill vibe on this on this record um two songs aside recorded in 08 um i think this is yeah this is a reissue but this, this, a, this is a tough one to get a hold of uh, thanks man this is this is wonderful man i love that record um spun that a couple times already uh next is uh he need Sure knows I love Terry Masuhino on the trumpet, and so this was in the in the package. Uh, John Schofield, East Meets West, on Blackhawk Records. This one, another one that you don't see hardly ever. Um, I think it was originally on Trio out of Japan in '77, and I've got a couple of Trio records now of Elton Jones. So this is a nice addition into the Japanese records that I have. Um, Schofield, Clint Houston on the on the bass and, and, and Fender bass, uh, Matahiko Hino on the drums. Another great one. Uh, this is this is fantastic. I I didn't have anything from Schofield, so. And the next that was in the VCLT package was Charlie Mariano October on Inner City. I love the Inner City label. Uh, this did not disappoint. Uh, this is a different record. This is. I don't even know how to describe this record. It's it's fusion to a point, but there's a lot of other things going on. And um, I didn't like track one too much, but then then it picked, then it got going. There was bass, killer killer bass uh, from uh, Bar Phillips. Yeah, this 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 gets this gets good. Um, interesting record. Really really dig this. Thanks again, sure. You're, you are the man. Uh, next, another one from Dusty Groove. Uh, this is a serious grail. Uh, this is New Directions in Modern Music, uh, Rashida Lee Quartet, on uh, his survival label. Um, uh, just, you know, a record I never thought I'd ever be holding up here in one of these videos. Um, anything on his label is very difficult to, to get a hold of, and prices are usually nuts. The price was right on this, and, uh, yeah. Uh, Rashida Lee, of course, uh, played drums, uh, at the end of John Coltrane's career with him, and just, uh, when that, every, you know, when John passed, he, he, ascended, Rashida Lee ascended. He, he started doing his own things, and. get everything on on this label that's that's my my next goal is just working on the survival label uh, next repo here coming through um, trying to help out everybody when they're closed here uh, OG promo of Miles Davis water babies this is Cool. This belongs to the radio station. It still has the original inner um, promo inner. It's crazy. Um, you don't see those at all. White label Columbia. Don't have many white label promos from Columbia. So uh, yeah. And this record is interesting. Um, unreleased stuff. When this came out, um, 
This was put out in 70, 76, but this stuff was recorded earlier. Um, side one is more uh, the straight ahead quartet uh, with Herbie Hancock, Tony Williams, Ron Carter, and Wayne Shorter. S stuff um, that could have fit, I think, within a silent way almost. Um, then side two is more in the fusion vein because you add Chick Corea and Dave Holland to the mix. Um, so there's, you got two different lineups uh, on side one and side two. Um, well, all you do is you just add Chick and Dave, but yeah, this is, this is pretty good. Um, yeah, two, uh, I really dig uh, the opening track on side two, Two Faced. That, that one's fucking killer, killer jam. Uh, psyche, fucking fusion-y. I, I don't know. It's, it's, it's different shit. It's great. Uh, next came from Grayface. They're doing Saturday live sales because he's trying to pay the freaking rent to keep the place open. They're, they're in they're in deep shit. Um, it's, some of these record stores are not going to survive this bullshit. Um, Sun Ra and his Astro Infinity Orchestra, Pathways to Unknown Worlds, Modern Harmonic. Gold vinyl. Uh, this is gatefold. They do a great job, of course, on all their reissues. Um, gold is the label. This is really cool because this has a crazy insert. If I can get it out of there, Let's see what we got. It shows. How some of the advance money will be used, and they made a list to give to Impulse. It has like what it would cost, all the things they need that they would use the advance money for, like uh, a station wagon for twenty five hundred, and a Dodge carry all van for twenty five hundred, and a concert grand piano for Sun Ra twenty five hundred. So, grand piano cost as much as a vehicle back then. Killer Sunra stuff, um, and it was cheap, so and used, so was happy to grab that from the whole folks at Great Face in Savannah. Uh, next, these came from uh, where did I get these? Carolina Soul. Taps up. Uh, Tapscott Sessions Volume 7, Nimbus West Records from 83, I believe. This is, yeah, they, these were never reissued as far as I know. So now I have two volumes. Fucking, these are, these are so good, man. Solo piano, there's a lot of solo piano threads going around, but you could make one just with these Tapscott Records, and it would it'd fly with me. These are, these are great. Gave this a second chance. I mean, with everything going on, what's it gonna hurt having some gospel vocals? Damon Locke's Black Monument Ensemble with easily the best Carver art that's come out in a long time. Although with the, this is, this is a, everything about this is, is amazing. Um, the only thing that put me back were the vocals and I the music is so good. It, yeah, I had to go back to it and where future unfolds, international anthem hitting home run after home run. This is this is fucking amazing. I think this came out in 2019. But uh, Angel Bat Dawid on uh, clarinets, which her album on the label is unreal. Um, Damon Locks does just everything here, and yeah. Um, I can do this one. And I pick this up. Probably this guy is a Stone Alliance, uh, self-titled. This is a reissue on Tidal Waves. Um, I think this was probably released in 75 or 76, but uh, Gene Perla, Don Elias, Steve Grossman. Love Steve Grossman on tenor. Um, big fan of Steve Grossman. This fucking slays. This is a, this is a badass record. And cheap, this was like 10 bucks. 
last that came from Carolina Soul. I found a 12 inch for like six bucks. Horror Sandy Love is the Light on the Techniques label. Uh, some really great reggae here. Um, this is fantastic. And uh, the B side is basically the same track, but without Horace's vocals, and you just basically have like harmonica coming in. So this is really cool. Um, I've spun this a couple times already. This is this is a killer track. And then um, the next record is another Grail. Uh, this is a big one. Um, Omar Kabir. He's a trumpet player. He's now in Ger living in Germany. Hold on a second. All my records are going all over the place. It's fine. Um, he played in the David Murray Octet and played all over the place but um, he was selling some stuff that Ken McCallop has allowed people to sell on the Facebook group and this caught my eye and I got in touch with him and I got a sick deal on it and um, that's uh, Sun Ra and his Solar Orchestra Secrets of the Sun uh, on Hell Saturn this is this came out in 65 this label is the repress which could be also from the same year um, not sure, probably, probably so though. Um, and uh, the record is fantastic condition. Uh, the cover is beat, and uh, but it's still presentable. And my favorite cover art ever on a Sunra record, right here. So this was this was a huge one. Um, much thanks to Omar. He was very professional. This ship from Germany got here in like six, seven days. Um, packaged perfectly. Just everything went perfectly with this. And then the next record, another killer one. Um, Egon from Now Again Records had uh, posted on Instagram that a, a collection he had, he sold or it had, it had moved on to this guy, Matt, and he was he had it all up on Instagram for sale, so the stuff was flying off of there. He'd post one and be gone uh, with sound samples. Uh, a lot of Thai records, it was, it was crazy, but uh, I tried to get one High Life record. I was second, and I missed, just missed it. I ended up finding another copy, but this one I, I did get. It's uh, Eddie Andre and the Comrades, uh, self-titled on the Panafric label. Um, I forget the year on this. This is in the 70s, 78, uh, from Nigeria. Uh, Nigeria, it's the only time this was ever put out. Uh, very rare, um, not expensive. There might be a copy or two floating around on Discogs, but uh, great high life record. This is really, really cool. Very stoked to have this. So that's everything that's come in. I got a shit ton out there. I'm waiting on. Um, hope everybody's well. Peace.